Hi, this is T.H. Culhane for Solar Cities, and we've just gotten back from the National Geographic Emerging Explorers Symposium for 2010 down in Washington, D.C., and there we had the honor of meeting Jose Orteaga, one of the class of 2010 Emerging Explorers, who works in Nicaragua trying to protect sea life, particularly giant turtles. Now, the giant turtles are in danger of extinction primarily because of poaching. Their eggs are poached and their meat is poached. But another thing that's killing them are plastic bags. So even if we are against the poaching of turtles, we're doing our own poaching every time we throw a plastic bag from our grocery shopping into the water because the turtles see these as giant jellyfish and eat them and they get caught in their throats and then they, uh, they can no longer eat and they drown. So keeping these out of the water is as important as stopping the poaching. One thing you can do at home to stop the plastic bags from ending up in the environment is simply to melt them using a deep fryer. And any deep fryer will do. This is the smallest model just for demonstration. What I've done, as you can see here, is I've just taken a soup can and put holes in the bottom so that the oil can penetrate that. And I can take any plastic bags that I want and I can simply feed it into here and after 15 minutes of heating to about 360 degrees Fahrenheit, then the plastic bags simply melt. So even a big plastic bag like this, which could cause major harm to a turtle, simply goes in here and melts into a manageable lump that can be recycled, in fact. And you can see that this will never then enter the ocean and become a problem for the turtles because it's now compact. And I can do that for all sorts of different species of plastic simply feeding it in one at a time into the bag. Now, if you have a larger fryer, you can do this with even larger bags. And, of course, it doesn't affect the oil in the fryer, so you could be doing this simultaneously with cooking. But the idea is don't let your plastic bags go into the waste stream. If you melt them in oil, in an oil burner, kept with a thermostat at a constant temperature, there will be no fumes, no smoke. It can be done indoors, and you can eliminate all of your plastic waste. So there's absolutely no excuse. Now, if you don't want to do this at home, you could encourage your community, encourage the stores, the grocery stores, encourage fast food restaurants to have a place where you deposit bags. And let's make a community effort out of melting down and compacting, because it's so simple to do, this can be just left there, melting the plastic so that we no longer have anything going into the waste stream. That is the way that you can pr protect marine animals particularly the turtles, dolphins, porpoises, whales, all the creatures that will tend to get these caught in their throats and, and kill them. So this is a, an easy do-it-yourself home solution. Once again, it's just taking a can and putting it in. Thanks. For Solar Cities, I'm T.H. Culhane. I don't know.